my goal is to kind of capture a tiny part of nature. I want to create this diorama where it looks like the beauty of the natural world is frozen in time. I am Lindsay Swing. I am the founder of Honey and Sass, um, a mixed media arts company based in Eugene, Oregon. I refer to my craft as kind of mixed media arts, um, more so because I do more than one type of visual art, um, but the type that I am most commonly known for is called oddities and curiosities, which is essentially creating art out of pieces of the natural world around you. And when I started it, very few people were actually doing this at the time, at the level that it's being done now. Um, and I think that just so many people have realized that this is a part of the world that they love, that it's growing more and more. So when I first started it, I was tell people, you know, like, what do you do for a living? Oh, you know, I go out and pick up bones and make art out of them. Or I use dead insects. <laughs> like, I, I pick up dead things is mostly what my job description is. There are difficulties with this craft. Um, I scavenge and forage for a lot of my work. So there are so many legalities to that um, and I highly recommend for people trying to get into this to start learning what those laws are early. Resources are always scarce for me because I also forage everything. So um, when I'm using an insect in a piece, that might be the last one I find for a really long time. I have no idea when I'm going to find it again. So I, I, I can never do mass production in my work, which is a difficulty, but also I think is part of the beauty of it in the first place. Yeah. When I was in high school in Eugene, I just, I started going to bring recycling all the time when it was like this little place out by Pisgah. And I fell in love with these multi-pane glass windows. And I started figuring out through other types of art that I had been exposed through, um, especially primarily through friends at the U of O who are doing science or who are doing art majors like intaglio printmaking, all of these different printmaking things. I figured out how to do like a manual etching technique. I don't exactly know where I see it going in the future. I really like to play around with different types of art. So even though oddities and curiosities and window etchings and things like that, that's what I do. I've done it for a really long time. I do interactive arts. Um, I haven't had a gallery exhibit in a really long time, but I have some really cool ideas for gallery exhibits that I would like to do in the future. And I feel like the more I'm exposed to other people's art, which is why I really highly appreciate collaborations and interactive art and things like that, I get pushed kind of in different areas to explore different things. So I actually don't know, but I think that's part of the fun of it is kind of, I'm kind of in it for the ride and the adventure of it, you know? I don't know where it's going to take me.